Good morning guys, how are we? I'm back out again, I'm back out on a early morning beach hunt and uh, I'm following the tide out and uh, I'm on Gellock Head Beach and uh, I'm just going to see what I can find uh, I'm not sure if things will be few and far between or if there'll be a lot of stuff but looking down at the ground and things I can see quite a lot of iron so generally when you find that you generally find a lot of coins wash round about it so I'm going to just go out in this area give it a go and I'll get back to using my first hit so this coin hunt isn't really going how I expected it to go uh, there's no old coins as of yet but I have had 14 kind of 2 pences, 1 pences, 20 pences, 5 pences so that's 14 coins so far and uh, I reckon it's just a matter of time before I find the old ones but there seems to be loads and loads of 1 pences, 2 pences, 20 pences so I'll keep going in this area and, uh, and live and hope that I'll find some old coins and a nice bit of silver. Here we go, got my first old one. Edward VII, Big Penny. A nice find. That one's been there a while but it's quite a fair bit out for where I would normally find these type of coins but I'll keep going in this area and see if I can find any more. Look at that while I'm on. Eyes only find a <laughs> penny. There's just coins everywhere on this beach. I mean, everywhere. Right guys, just dug that. Now, I don't know if any guys have seen this, but these come out quite a lot on the beach. And generally what happens is inside them, there is a two pens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one home. And when I get home, I'm going to crack it open and show you what's inside it. Hopefully there'll be a coin inside it. Right guys, just dug that. It's an 84 and it's a... And Elizabeth II, ship's penny. Cool. Hey right, guys, just dug that, and that's another coin. It's a 2P, but I thought it was cool because it's got a harp on it, which means it's Irish. It's a 1979 Irish 2 pence. Right, guys, just dug that. Just got a 70 on the machine, a bit of silver. I don't know. Let's have a look and find out. Possibly not. <coughs> no idea. I'm going to clean it up and I'll just get back to you. Right, I'm really unsure what that is. Possibly could be an old style 10 pence or it could be a 2 shilling Georgia 6. Again, whether it's silver or not, I don't know. So what I'll do is I'll have a look on the roundup, get it cleaned up and I'll let you know. Right guys, just dug that. It came up as an 84. Georgia 6 and I think it's a silver 1 shilling. Whether it's silver or not, I can't see it, but I do think it's a silver shilling. You can see George VI shining through. I'll clean it up when I get it home and let you know if it is silver. That's two I've got to do. Right guys, just dug that, I got an 84. I'm unsure, but I do think it's a George V. A very badly corroded, worn down, half penny. Right guys, just dug that, that's another Georgia 5th half penny. It's got a big chunk missing for it, but it's uh, still readable. George 5 half penny. Right guys, just dug that, it's an 83. I think that's a bronze ring. Could be wrong, but definitely looks like a bronze ring to me. That's an old one. Get in. So guys, got to do a quick round up. 32 coins so far, been out for probably about just less than an hour and uh, we've got 32 coins, we've got an Irish 2 pence George V penny, Edward VII penny George V half pennies possibly an Edward VI shilling and a 2 shilling again that's another George V got a copper ring got a dart hit the bullseye I might have enough to have my BFH home uh, a lot of twos and twenties and one pences and five pences. So we're just out on uh, Gellock Head and we're out on the beach and uh, it was just to give it a go. Was, the tide's coming in instead of getting out we've got the tide times wrong and uh, it was just to give it a go and see what we find so we'll keep going until the tide comes in and uh, hopefully we'll get some more finds. Right guys just dug that it's a 32 and that's a big infield bullet. It's another nice find. Right guys, I'm going to call it a day for this hunt. Good luck, happy hunting, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.
Good evening guys, how are we? Welcome to the roundup for this video. This was a short hunt on Gellock Head Beach and uh, we came out of the woods and we were doing a hunt in the woods and uh, close by, that's all I'm going to say. And uh, oh, we, get, we thought we'd get the tide times right but it just wasn't <laughs> obviously right because we thought the tide was going out but it was coming in so we thought why not, just give the beach a go, it was about 5-6 metres away from being a high tide and I thought yeah we'll, we'll just give it a go so we only stayed on for an hour, there's only so many 2 pences and 1 pences you can actually pick up you know and this is kind of how it went, 2 pences oh, 1 pences, 20 pences and a 5 pence there as well there's just only so many you can pick up, these are possibly 1 pences as well I'm not sure, I'm going to give them a better clean just because they look a bit of a different colour. Eh, uh, possible two silvers. I don't really know if they're silver or cuprine nickel because they're that boring. I think they're both silver, but people will probably debate it. They're both Georgia 6. And uh, I think they're both silver, but it's debatable. So, I don't really know. I can't see any date on them and I can't get any of the stuff to come off them, so I don't know. Got a nice Edward the Seventh half penny. Some Georgia Fifth half pennies. One, two, three, Elizabeth II, Ship's Penny, and Elizabeth II, Irish Penny. Obviously, fairly mod on that one. I did get a nice bronze ring. It's an old one. A very crudded Enfield bullet. Ooh, hit the bullseye with that one. It's a dart, and I found my BFH home. <laughs> Honestly, eh, uh, there's just only so many two pences and one pence you can pick up. So after an hour we kind of gave it a miss and I've ended up with 40 coins. And f for an hour to get 40 coins off a beach, eh, uh, that's pretty good. Eh, uh, I do think that beach has been done because there wasn't too many pre-decimals coming up. And that's generally a kind of indication that it's been done. So my general first thought is it that that area had been done I think at least I know of one person that possibly could have been on it so mm. it probably won't be one I'll return to I'll maybe do another spot again on it and just see if I can find any more but like I said eh, every beach is worth giving a go and eh, like I said I'm doing multiple roundups just now so <laughs> you can see all the coins and that that were found on the beaches and things and eh, so there's loads of stuff coming out of these beaches, they're all worth a go and uh, hopefully I'll bring you some good finds from some of them uh, I'm taking a little bit of a break for two weeks but I've got plenty of videos to put up so just keep watching and you'll see what we've found over the last two weeks Right guys, good luck, happy hunting and I'll catch you on the next one, bye for now